Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. Today I'm going to be making some quilt blocks and just for fun, I am not going to be using my rotary cutter or my cutting mat. I'm just using scissors. This quilt will be in sort of a liberated style. Some of my favorite books, two here by Gwen Marston, liberated quilt making and liberated quilt making too. And there's another book that is inspirational. This book by Roderick Kirikoff, Unconventional and Unexpected. So that's what this quilt is going to be. Unexpected. We're going to find out what happens when you sew and trim and cut and sew together. Things are not going to match up perfectly, and that is going to be the adventure today. So I have already cut, actually someone else cut these a long time ago with scissors. So this is the perfect thing to use. Four inch squares. Here are my four inch squares, and I'm going to sit down at the sewing machine now and sew them together to make an hourglass block. I should be able to get two blocks out of these two pieces of fabric. I didn't draw a line down the middle of that square but as you can see, I kind of eyeballed it from edge to edge. Then I'm going to open these up and put them right sides together with opposite colors. And the thing I need to focus on is the center right here. If I want those seams to match. And I think I'll put a pin there to help me out. I want seams going opposite direction so that they nestle together. But since this is a liberated quilt, they might not be right together, and that's okay this time. This is just going to be a fun quilt. No worry quilt. And here are my squares, my hourglass squares. So I have some already pressed right here. And I want to go around and trim all these little dog ears off. Okay, all my little hourglass blocks have been trimmed. Now I'm going to sew them together in rows. Putting the edges together. But let me tell you, since we didn't uh, trim these they're going to be a little bit different in size and the seams may not match up perfectly that'll be the fun we're gonna see what happens and then as you can see I need to make sure that a dark goes with the light. In my case, it's a dark green is my constant for the background and the others are just scraps of other colors. And you need to make sure that this next row alternates.
now we're going to put our rows together and see how they match up. I think I'm just going to focus on the ends. I'm not going to worry about seams matching in the middle. Remember, this is a liberated quilt. If you do want your seams to match up, what you want to do is after you make your hourglass blocks, you can make all of them the same size and then put them together and they should match up using a ruler. But like I said, today we're just using scissors just for fun. We're going old school. And see, I almost put that up there and that would not have matched. So I need to put it down here so that the colors alternate. And there's my block. It's pretty good. Things matched up pretty well, but not perfectly. So you're going to press that and make some more. Have fun sewing.